Welcome to the Santa Cruz County Outdoor Science School's online parent presentation. This presentation will give you an overview of what your child will experience at the Outdoor Science School. We will also talk about our policies and procedures in place to keep our students safe both physically and emotionally. The Santa Cruz County Outdoor Science School is a program of the Santa Cruz County Office of Education and we have been in operation since 1973. Although we are affectionately referred to as Science Camp, we are a residential school program. We are located at the Koinonia Conference Grounds in the southern end of the Santa Cruz Mountains. We serve over 60 different schools that travel from five different counties to participate. We lease the Koinonia Conference Grounds, which hosts a variety of other groups on the weekends and during the summer. The Koinonia Conference Grounds takes great pride in keeping their site clean and well-maintained. There are two main aspects we would like to highlight about our program. The first is our focus on science education. Students participate in authentic science practices through hands-on lessons and activities in nature. The second aspect is the opportunity for social and independent growth that students experience at the outdoor science school. Living in a cabin and sharing responsibilities with new and old friends, having an independent experience away from home, often for the first time, and being part of the larger outdoor science school community for the week. At Outdoor Science School, the forest is our classroom. The students hike and participate in field study class each day and are encouraged to safely explore, observe, and ask questions about their natural surroundings. When traveling along the trail, we always have a leader at the front, the back, and often in the middle of the hiking group to ensure everyone stays together. Students are encouraged to use their senses to experience the natural world and to ask questions and make observations about what they notice around them. We have many different outdoor areas and a variety of ecosystems to explore and learn. In fifth and sixth grade, students have a natural curiosity about the world around them. We encourage them to use this curiosity to ask questions and find answers using their own observations. With the classroom teacher's assistance, each student will be placed in a cabin group as well as a field study group. Field study groups are generally made up of one boy's cabin and one girl's cabin. Each field study group will have a naturalist who will be their teacher on trail throughout the week. We strive to provide a positive learning experience for our students as well as our staff. Our naturalists come to us with a background in science education, teaching experience, and being trained in wilderness first aid and CPR. Throughout the year, we offer a variety of opportunities for growth and feedback in teaching, group management, safety, science curriculum, and music. We are fortunate to have the Corlitos Creek as one of the many areas we explore while at the Outdoor Science School. It's a wonderful opportunity to learn about the importance of watershed, stream health, and water conservation. The students have opportunities to use hands-on science to learn about the creek and its surroundings. We make learning fun through a variety of approaches that are available to us in nature. For example, while at Coralitas Creek, we teach the students that by rubbing the wet sandstone rocks together, they can create paint. Students learn about rocks in a non-traditional and fun way. We give the students an opportunity to interact with the small creatures in our forest. We teach them how to safely and respectfully interact so that their younger brothers and sisters will have the same opportunities. Each student at the Outdoor Science School will receive a journal. The journal is a place for them to record their memories as well as enhance their learning. At the end of the week, the journals will be sent home with the classroom teachers who can then use them in the classroom and or send them home with the students as an outdoor science school memento. Here is an example of a typical day at outdoor science school. From looking at this schedule, you can see that we keep the students quite busy. Their day begins with a four minute shower, which allows them to practice conserving water and ensures that everyone has an opportunity to shower each morning. There are field studies each day, a time each afternoon for rest in the cabin, and different activities that are led by the teachers. The classroom meeting is a teacher-led activity where students regroup with their classmates and teachers from their home school to reflect and check in with one another. Each day concludes with a different evening activity and lights out at 9.20 p.m. This is a map of our campus. Please note the boys' and girls' cabins are on opposite ends of our campus. The classroom teachers and health supervisor's office are located at the entrance and in between the cabins. Our warm and cozy cabins are located in clusters and some share walls. Each cabin holds approximately 9 to 11 students and each student will get their own bed. The cabins all have mattresses on the beds, heaters, windows, carpet, and an attached full bathroom with locking doors. 
Our high school leadership program provides the opportunity for local students to volunteer as a cabin leader and mentor for the younger students. Cabin leaders work under the supervision of our adult staff. In order for a high school student to be eligible for our high school leadership program, they must be in good academic standing, they must submit a letter of recommendation from a faculty member at school or a work supervisor, and they must obtain signatures from all of their teachers, their school counselor and administrator, who confirm that they are responsible students and a good candidate to be a role model for younger students. Our cabin leader coordinator goes out into the community to recruit eligible high school students. The cabin leaders arrive the day before the 5th or 6th grade students to complete an in-depth training on our policies and procedures and how to keep students safe, both physically and emotionally, and the importance of being a positive role model for the younger students. If you know a high school student that you think would be a great fit, please follow the link at the end of this presentation to find out how they can apply. Classroom teachers have many roles while at the outdoor science school. One of their main responsibilities is to facilitate our group challenges that focus on trust, communication, and cooperation. The ropes course is led by a trained facilitator. The classroom teachers are also on hand to support and encourage the students throughout the course. Please note that each student will always have a helmet, safety harness, and will always be attached to the safety cables on the course. Each student is encouraged to participate in the ropes course, but no one is forced to do so against their will. Each afternoon between lunch and dinner, we offer a healthy snack for the students. There's always a bowl of fruit available for any students who are hungry between other meals. Students share responsibilities throughout the week to contribute to the community. For example, in the dining hall, each cabin has an opportunity to help set up a meal. Each student is assigned a table group different from their hiking group with whom they will eat throughout the week. We serve our meals family style, so each student chooses what and how much food they would like to put on their plate. We encourage students to take as much food as they need to feel full, and we also encourage them not to waste food by taking more than they can eat. Any food left on the plate that could have been eaten but wasn't is put into the garbology bucket at the end of the meal. Two students, who are the chosen garbologists at the meal, weigh the total food waste, then present the results to the group. They also have the opportunity to share ideas about reducing food waste. The night hike is one of our evening activities. It is at a slower pace than the daytime hiking and on specified trails that we have found to be safe to hike at night. It is a unique and memorable opportunity to experience the forest at night. We end the first and last day of outdoor science school with an evening campfire. Campfire is a time to gather as a whole group, sing songs together, and enjoy silly skits. Throughout the week, the cabin groups create an original song about a local species that they will perform together at our last night's campfire. We maintain the following ratios during your child's stay at the Outdoor Science School. For every 35 students, there is one teacher who is on site full time. For every 25 students, there is one naturalist who is their teacher on trail. For every 10 students, there is one cabin leader. An administrator or senior staff member, as well as the health supervisor, is on site full time. Koinonia staff live on site and take care of facilities, cooking, and maintenance, and all adults have had a criminal background check and required immunizations, just like a school site. Some students experience homesickness while sleeping away from home. Outdoor Science School is a supportive environment for students to overcome these feelings of anxiety and homesickness. Our staff members have many years of experience working with students and helping them to be successful in managing homesick feelings. Our goal for each homesick student is to support them in overcoming and controlling these feelings so that they can have a positive experience with their classmates and friends while away from home. Often the students that are crying on the first night from homesickness are the same students that are crying on the last day because they don't want to go home. This transformation that can happen in a week is a powerful experience and a tremendous source of pride and accomplishment for the students to experience. Like any school, we have rules and expectations that are in line with the schools that attend, including a few additional safety rules. On the very first day when students arrive, we go over the rules so that it is very clear what is expected of them at all times. In the event of a student not being able to follow our rules, there are consequences for his or her actions. We believe in giving students an opportunity to learn from and change their actions so that they can be a positive part of the community. We use the following steps outlined here. We work directly with each student to help them learn from their mistakes and make better choices in the future. Our health supervisors are certified EMTs and are on campus 24 hours a day. 
The health supervisors, as well as everyone on staff, always carry a radio which allows two-way communication regardless of where we are on campus or the surrounding hiking areas. If we have any questions as to how best to care of a student in a particular situation, we do not hesitate to call the parent or guardian listed on the health form. Speaking of the health forms, you should receive an information packet from your child's teacher. This will contain lots of helpful information and two very important pieces of paper that you will need to fill out and turn into your child's teacher. The registration form lists any emergency contacts and helpful information or special needs that your child might have. The physician and parent authorization to administer medication form includes a list of over-the-counter medications that we carry for as-needed situations. It also has a location to list any prescription or over-the-counter medication that your child will take while at the outdoor science school. Please note that in order for us to legally administer any medication, both prescription and over-the-counter, both the physician's signature and the parent or guardian's signature are required. Without both the physician and guardian signatures, we cannot administer any medications to your child. In the parent information packet, you will also find a full packing list. It is important for students to stay well hydrated, so please pack a reusable water bottle. We want the students to experience an unplugged week at the outdoor science school. Please leave any electronics at home. Watches, flashlights, and cameras are allowed. Please ensure that the camera your child brings does not have other features on it such as electronic games, etc. As we bring our week to a close at Outdoor Science School, we have a ceremony on the last day where the students and teachers reflect on their experience. We aim to have the students leaving Outdoor Science School around 11 a.m. in order to return to their schools around lunchtime. We are a school focused on science education and independent growth. At Outdoor Science School, students have the opportunity to gain a greater sense of self and build a stronger connection with their teachers, classmates, and new friends. If you would like more information or have any questions, please explore our website where you can find our contact information, the parent packet, cabin leader applications, a frequently asked questions page, and more. Thank you for taking this time to learn about our program.